Oh my god! I'm playing something on a console that isn't named Pac-Man World 2! <gasps> it's terrible! Okay. Enough ad-libbing it, because I suck at that. Let's just keep playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Which I have to do... Late at night on Sunday. Downtown Bikini Bottom. Once a bustling metropolis. For some reason. Now a debris covered crater. And well, this took so long, basically, because SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate. All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate. We have. How did to you get, get vacuum out of that? Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Why wouldn't they just destroy the boats? Why Couldn't did they take we the just steering wheels? in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> Good old fashioned canon humor. I, I don't know. Oh my god. This is one of the weirdest parts of the game the sponge ball. Basically, you run into the thing and you turn into a ball. It's pretty much self explanatory, but. It is just uh, compared to all the other stuff in this game, it, it's pretty weird, and that's saying something. Anyway, sadly, we don't get to see Patrick in this level, mainly because we have somebody else to meet. But again, you probably know who I'm talking about, so. I guess I ruined the surprise already in another episode. Anyway, let's just keep going. And we meet our next enemy type, the UFO with gloves. Ultra combo. Um, I'm not even gonna ask how he got up there or how he got that anvil up there. I'm just gonna suspend my disbelief again. Cause this game is goofy. Anyway, it's called a G Love. Sounds like a porn name, but pff, we'll go with it. Okay, well. As you can see, we can go up on these rooftops, but we can't as Spongebob, we can Somehow as the person. He, <laughs> he doesn't need a hand. <laughs> he has five of them. Um, anyway. What was I yapping about again? Oh yeah, that was right. That's right. Um, you can scale the rooftops in this level, but you can't do it as Spongebob, seeing as though he lacks the physical ability. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So we're gonna have to do it with someone else. I wonder it, who it could be. Oh. We'll find out later in the level. Again, you probably already know who it is, but I won't spoil it for those who don't. Then again, I'm pretty sure the game already spoiled it. The game, the tutorial spoils everything in this game. Even like certain specific moves that you're supposed to learn later in the game, like um, sorry for the spoilers, but the bubble bowl. I don't even know why I'm just apologizing. It's not even that big a spoiler. It's just a move. Anyway, um, yeah, it it. it Openly tells you about the bubble bowl, which you haven't unlocked. But 
I suppose it's not the first game to do that, so it's not a big problem. I should really just stop talking, because I'm an idiot. And I really need to learn how to dodge bathtubs. Sinks, I mean. Hell, I don't know. This game makes about as much sense as Earthworm Jim. If not less. Hmm. I don't know if that boat is supposed to help me, but... Okay, I guess it's supposed to help me bounce over. I could go back down there and get all this stuff. Oh, well, I guess I have no choice now. I thought that was a purple shiny thing. Stupid mind tricks. This game faked me out again. Well, not really skate, just slip and slide, but it does the same animation as he does when he's on water, so... Anyway, eventually we're going over there. But not right now. I was actually planning on going, at there, going there at the end of this segment. But I might as well open it up anyways. Since I really have nothing else to do with this these shiny things oh and uh by the way um shoot i forgot to mention this when i first started recording i lost all my progress in this game well it's not a whole lot but i was still pretty mad because i found out that i was using the new xbox instead of the old one so my save file was not found so i had to do it again and i was not happy <sighs> but no fretting. It took like 30 minutes. It's 30 minutes I won't get back, but who cares? I did it for you guys, because I'm just that nice. Hi, Gary. Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean... Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula! I could really use that! Meow! What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this! Meow! Meow! Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! AND IMPASSIBLE! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. It's not really as hard as Spongebob makes it out to be. But... Yeah. The last... The, the third and final playable character is Sandy Cheeks. The squirrel. How many squirrels does it take to change a light? I, I don't know. Anyway, can we get the steering wheel? Not with SpongeBob, it looks like. We'll have to get onto the roofs. 
Alright, alright, alright. I'll stop goofing around and I'll start calling up Sandy. Sheesh. So now I'm Sandy. Hooray. Jump to the top of these steps. Thanks, game. Yeah, sh Yeah. Did I mention Sandy's from Texas? This game hammers it in. Here's another one. It's not enough... <laughs> well, first of all, Sandy has a lasso. Well I, well, I mean, like... The series hammered it in, too, but, like... Not as... It, they didn't, like, dwell on it. This game pretty much... Authoritizes the fact that Sandy's a Texas Texan. Texas Texan Texan. I don't even know. Texas Titan. Anyway, as you've noticed, Sandy has a glide move that involves twirling the lasso as like a helicopter. I, 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 I don't even know. Suspend my disbelief yet again. It's a SpongeBob video game. I didn't expect it to follow the rules, but I really should I really should stop expecting it to follow the rules. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Sandy can also lasso stuff. Which it helpfully explains right here. Which the game explains every single mechanic to you. Yeah, that didn't get annoying at all when I was replaying this game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can gather from my platforming abilities that Sandy... Well, well this game was geared toward younger kids of the younger generation of the younger, and let's just keep saying younger and younger and younger and younger, and let's just keep getting hit, and let's just die, and let's just... Ugh. Anyway, this game was geared toward young kids, but... Jeez. How do you even get SpongeBob underwear on if you have a full bodied, like, undersea suit? Suspend your disbelief. I keep forgetting that. When you're playing a licensed game. You gotta suspend your disbelief, because nothing will make sense. Ever. Oh, and there's a sock I missed. Hooray! Well, good thing there's a box around here. Is there? Yes, there is. Because I just remembered opening one up. Well, we've, we've made quite a bit of progress. It's about only 13 minutes, and I've pretty much cleared out this first sector, besides a few steering wheels. Steering wheels are the worst part of this level. I mean, you have to look at every single part of the level in order to find them all. Ooh, and I found another sock I missed. Which reminds me, I also went back and collected a few socks that I missed in the first level. So, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Even though... Even though I... You really... Even though I really don't owe you in it. And any thanks I, I don't know shoot anyway hey remember the time I completely forgot to do this part of Spongebob even though I usually do it every time still not entirely sure what the best way to deal with these guys is this Sandy. I'm, I think it's you're supposed to stand at a distance and lasso them, but oh, there's another steering wheel. I am... Looks like I lied about that. I have missed a lot of stuff. In your guide, we trust. Lord X of X the X Mario's the best video gamer ever. Yeah, right. Anyway. 
What do I keep going on about? I, 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 I don't even know. Let's just talk about something else. Oh yeah, I bought the new Ratchet and Clank games. I don't know why that's rev I don't know how that's relevant, but I bought the new Ratchet and Clank games. All of them. They're pretty good. I suggest you check them out because they follow the series roots. You probably don't even know anything about Ratchet and Clank. Because you're probably not interested in that. You probably want to just want you probably just want to see a playthrough of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Okay, let's see. Going back because I missed stuff. Scenario isn't familiar at all, is it? And whenever you're turning, Sandy's hand is. She, Sandy puts her hand up for some reason. I don't know. Someone better make good use of all these. I hate fighting these things as Sandy because it's just so slow. Okay, well, anyway, at least I've cleared up a few shortcuts. Let's see, Sandy attacks by karate chopping. Which I don't see why Spongebob can't do, because he did karate in the series as well, but... Maybe it's because he was less adept at karate than Sandy. I don't even know. I'm doing a very terrible job at suspending my disbelief. And again, it's something I usually never do, so... Okay. What in the heck was I even doing? Order of X Lex Mario's gets sidetracked easily. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. <laughs> okay, more socks, more kicking, more stuff. Take that, Take that air. Okay, well, more appropriately, take that, water. My number one enemy. This game seems to completely forget that it's under the sea sometimes, because there's underwater volcanoes. And... There's just a whole bunch of other things. Like, gravity works like normal. Underwater. But Again! I'm sorry, people. I'm just terrible at suspending my disbelief. I have to point out every single flaw within this game. And again, I don't even know where I'm going. These aren't even flaws. If I was designing a SpongeBob game, I'd be completely clueless, too. This is actually a really good game. I'm just berating it because I'm an asshole. Okay, well, anyway, let's go back here and do a little, do this, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. I, I don't know. Let's just do this, um, thing that I missed. That guy appears to be the statue of a man climbing out of a trash can. At least that's what it appears to be. I don't know. Anyway, the trick here is to, like, maneuver these bathtubs so that they hit the thunder tiki's on top of the stone totem poles so that you can hit the buttons on be down below them. <laughs> it's not that hard to figure out. Except because I'm an idiot, I keep missing. Thank you. Oh yeah, now we have to climb up there. Thanks, game. Technically, I could just glide off a roof of Sandy, but that would take way too long. Let's just do some little Assassin's Creed parkour here. Yeah. Yeah, that was totally Assassin's Creed parkour. Me jumping up and down like a frilly little idiot. Yeah. This 
SpongeBob the Master Assassin. Okay. As I really don't have any interest on prolonging this um, part of the Let's Play, like last time where I recorded a giant video, I, I, I think I'm gonna end it right here actually. Basically because I'm tired, it's Sunday, and my parents are like sleeping. So, I know. Herder, you, you actually live with your parents. I'm 16, so shut up. Hey Larry, what's shaking? Oh. I was beginning to miss the glitchy rooftop sky view thing. Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. All these robots going around. Chaos is spreading throughout Bikini Bottom. And you want me to fix your TV antenna. Yes, sir. That fair antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, and you know what's stupider? You she agrees to do it. I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Um... Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building and I <laughs> yeah, can't... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's taller than two feet. SpongeBob do to get across these gaps? All I could do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. And you don't even bother to ask for a golden spatula? <laughs> you ask for the TV antenna instead? Oh my god, you're ridiculous. Uh, anyway. Next time, we go on the quest for the missing antenna somewhere within the rooftops of Bikini Bottom. And the glitchy multicolored sky. <sighs> that that thing that will that will always, always, always haunt me in my dreams. Anyway, till next time, I'm Lord X of X Lex Mario's and stay in school.